Why are the Eagles reportedly showing significant interest in a particular quarterback from the Senior Bowl this week? Additionally, the media has shifted its focus from criticizing A.J. Brown to scrutinizing Jalen Hurts. DeAndre Swift discusses his plans for free agency, but suggestions are made that the Eagles should explore alternative options for a new running back. Furthermore, both King and Jason Kelsey express their admiration once again for the Eagles' new offensive coordinator. Let's be candid, I'm not a devoted senior bowl enthusiast. While I acknowledge the event's importance, watching it on television isn't my preference, much like the Pro Bowl, where I lack any interest in observing Jalen Hurts throw footballs at targets or Jason Kelsey snapping footballs through holes. However, the Senior Bowl provides valuable insights into the Eagles' interests, player meetings, and their focus on specific position groups. A recent report indicates that the Eagles are intensely interested in South Carolina quarterback Spencer Rattler, having met with him at the Senior Bowl. It's crucial to note that a meeting doesn't guarantee a draft pick, but it does offer a glimpse into the team's considerations. Spencer Rattler presents an intriguing prospect for a team with an established star quarterback. The Eagles, expressing their desire to be a quarterback factory, might see Rattler as a potential project quarterback. While I emphasize that Rattler shouldn't compete with Jalen Hurts, he could serve as a valuable backup, especially considering the team's experience with Marcus Mariota as Hurts' backup last year. Despite my support for Jalen Hurts, it's essential to address concerns raised by 94.1 WIP regarding his performance. Criticisms, particularly from Ray Dinger, suggest potential issues with Hurts' mechanics and decision-making, fueling uncertainties about his future. However, it's crucial to recognize that blaming Hurts for the team's struggles in 2023 overlooks the changes in offensive systems between 2022 and 2023. Shifting focus to the Eagles' offensive plans, there's speculation about the team drafting Lane Johnson's replacement and uncertainty regarding the future of running back DeAndre Swift. While Swift remains unsure about his return to the Eagles, the possibility of the team pursuing alternatives, such as Derrick Henry, in the offseason is explored. The idea of acquiring a veteran running back like Henry, who aligns with Kellen Moore's offensive preferences, is considered. Interestingly, many Eagles players, including Jason Kelsey, express excitement about Kellen Moore's offensive approach. Kelsey, on his podcast, praises Moore as one of the brightest young offensive minds and anticipates a creative evolution of the Eagles' offense under his coordination. Despite earlier retirement rumors, Kelsey's recent comments fuel speculation about a potential return for another season. In conclusion, the Eagles' off-season narrative includes quarterback prospects, evaluations of Jalen Hurts, potential running back acquisitions, and enthusiasm for Kellen Moore's offensive vision. The evolving scenarios make for an intriguing off-season for Eagles fans. Let's kick off today's show by addressing the Eagles' off-season needs. In my opinion, the two most significant needs are at linebacker and cornerback, with safety being a close third. The Eagles could use an upgrade at wide receiver 3, especially after the playoff game against the Buccaneers. With A.J. Brown and Julio Jones out, the depth at wide receiver was exposed. Addressing this position in the NFL draft seems likely. The running back situation is another consideration, with the option of bringing back DeAndre Swift or exploring a rookie in the draft. On the offensive line, finding a right guard and a potential successor for Lane Johnson at right tackle is crucial. Defensively, adding depth at defensive end and defensive tackle is essential. Now, let's talk about blockbuster trade targets, and it doesn't get much better than Patrick Certain. There have been reports suggesting the Eagles had interest in Certain before the trade deadline, and he could be a game-changer for our defense. His size, speed, and athleticism make him a top shutdown corner, and despite being only 23 years old, he has proven himself as one of the best young cornerbacks in the NFL. Acquiring certain won't be easy, as it might require giving up at least a first-round pick, possibly two, and another player, along with a contract extension. Despite the cost, certain's potential impact on our defense is worth considering. As for another trade target, safety Buddha Baker is on the radar. Pairing him with Reed Blankenship and moving on from Kevin Byard could significantly improve our secondary. Baker's versatility makes him a valuable asset, capable of playing in various roles on the defense. Regarding potential trade candidates, Hassan Reddick has been a force on the field, and a contract extension could be in the cards for him. Josh Sweat is another name, and while his sack numbers dipped, he still contributed significantly to the defense. Kevin Byard's contract may be too expensive, and cutting him could save the Eagles $14 million. To summarize, the Eagles have several needs to address this offseason, and exploring trades for impact players like Patrick Certain and Buda Baker could be transformative. 
Stay tuned for more updates on Eagles now, and as always, we appreciate your support. If you're still with us, drop a real one down below. Thanks for being here. On February 1, 2024, the Eagles Autism Foundation made a significant impact by allocating a commendable $6.2 million towards advancing 34 groundbreaking research and community projects dedicated to autism. The generous funding emerged from the collective efforts of participants in the 2023 Eagles Autism Challenge, alongside other fundraising endeavors initiated by the foundation throughout the year. The meticulous selection process involved 70 letters of intent, which were subsequently narrowed down to 40 full proposals. Each proposal underwent a thorough evaluation by an independent team of distinguished scientists, emphasizing their unwavering commitment to autism research, services, and programs. Eventually, 14 research projects were awarded to esteemed institutions such as Bar Elon University, Brown University, Child Mind Institute, Drexel University, Perelman School of Medicine at the University of Pennsylvania, Seattle Children's Research Institute, UC Davis, UCLA, University of Iowa, University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill, University of Wisconsin Madison, Washington University School of Medicine, and the Yale Child Study Center. Jeffrey Lurie, chairman and CEO of the Philadelphia Eagles, highlighted the foundation's dedication to funding progressive forms of autism research and care. He emphasized the rigorous process led by a scientific review panel, spearheaded by Dr. Emmanuel D. Sickobloom, to ensure the selection of projects with transformative potential. In addition to the funded research endeavors, the proceeds will be allocated to 20 organizations actively contributing to enhancing the lives of individuals affected by autism through various services and resources. Notable recipients of community grants include a Step Up Academy, Center for Autism, Ken's Crew, Culture City, Neurodiversity Employment Network, Special Olympics PA, Theater Horizon, and many more. The research projects cover a diverse spectrum, ranging from mechanisms and treatment of autism-associated microbiome dysbiosis to identifying common genetic variants affecting molecular and cellular traits in ASD macrocephaly. The scientific review panel, featuring 20 nationally recognized researchers, meticulously assessed each proposal based on criteria such as significance, innovation, approach, and measurable outcomes. This commitment to advancing autism research and community support underscores the Eagles Autism Foundation's dedication to making a tangible impact. Ryan Hammond, executive director of the foundation, expressed gratitude to those who generously support the mission, noting that since the inception of the Eagles Autism Challenge in 2018, the foundation has funded 116 research projects and community grants globally. Looking ahead, the seventh annual Eagles Autism Challenge, presented by Lincoln Financial Group, is set to take place on Saturday, May 18, 2024. Those eager to participate can register at eaglesauteismchallenge.org, with the foundation offering a 50% discount on registration using the promo code EFANS24. The Eagles Autism Foundation's recent announcement of a monumental $6.2 million allocation towards 34 cutting-edge autism research and community projects stands as a testament to the unwavering commitment and generosity that defines their mission. This philanthropic endeavor, fueled by the collaborative efforts of participants from the 2023 Eagles Autism Challenge and various foundation-led fundraising initiatives, exemplifies a commendable dedication to advancing understanding and support for individuals affected by autism. The thorough and meticulous selection process, involving the evaluation of 70 letters of intent and subsequent scrutiny of 40 full proposals by an independent team of distinguished scientists, underscores the Foundation's commitment to funding the most progressive and impactful forms of autism research and care. The 14 research projects selected span across esteemed institutions, ranging from Bar Elon University to the Yale Child Study Center, reflecting a diverse and comprehensive approach to addressing the multifaceted challenges posed by autism spectrum disorders. Jeffrey Lurie, chairman and CEO of the Philadelphia Eagles, eloquently articulates the foundation's overarching vision to fund transformative initiatives. The scientific review panel, led by the esteemed Dr. Emmanuel D. Sickobloom, ensures that each proposal aligns with stringent criteria such as significance, innovation, approach, and measurable outcomes. Lurie's emphasis on inspiring others to support the autism community in transformational ways resonates with the broader goal of creating a lasting impact. Beyond the realm of research, the Foundation's commitment extends to 20 organizations actively contributing to the well-being of individuals affected by autism. The diversity of recipients, including a Step-Up Academy, Culture City, and Special Olympics PA, highlights the Foundation's holistic approach to community support, acknowledging that impactful change requires a multifaceted strategy. 
The comprehensive list of funded research projects encompasses a wide array of topics, from unraveling the intricacies of autism-associated microbiome dysbiosis to exploring the epigenetic regulation of neuronal maturation in autism. The involvement of a scientific review panel comprising 20 nationally recognized researchers attests to the meticulous scrutiny applied to each proposal, ensuring that the chosen projects hold promise for transformative breakthroughs in the field. As the Foundation looks ahead, the 7th Annual Eagles Autism Challenge, presented by Lincoln Financial Group, emerges as a beacon of hope and continued commitment. The invitation for participation, coupled with a generous 50% discount on registration using the promo code IFANS24, invites individuals to join hands in supporting this noble cause. In essence, the Eagles Autism Foundation's recent endeavors exemplify the profound impact that collective philanthropy can have on advancing research, fostering community support, and ultimately, enhancing the lives of those affected by autism. It stands as a poignant reminder that, united in purpose, communities can pave the way for transformative change and create a brighter future for individuals on the autism spectrum. Remarkably insightful analysis on the potential blockbuster trade targets for the Philadelphia Eagles secondary. The comprehensive breakdown of the team's off-season needs, coupled with the strategic considerations for positions like linebacker, cornerback, and safety, adds a layer of sophistication to the conversation. The nuanced exploration of the wide receiver dynamics, offensive line concerns, and the intriguing possibilities at the running back position showcases a keen understanding of the team's multifaceted requirements. The discussion on Patrick Certain's potential acquisition is particularly intriguing, considering the nuanced evaluation of his skill set, age, and the potential impact on the Eagles' defense. The thorough examination of the cost implications and the strategic trade-offs involved in pursuing such a high-caliber cornerback provides valuable insights for fans and analysts alike. The contemplation of Buda Baker as a trade target, along with the strategic move of parting ways with Kevin Byard, reflects a deep understanding of the team's needs in the secondary. The intricate evaluation of Baker's versatility and the potential reshaping of the safety tandem with Reed Blankenship adds a layer of strategic planning to the discussion. Furthermore, the consideration of trade candidates like Hassan Reddick, Josh Sweat, and Kevin Byard brings forth a thoughtful analysis of their contributions, potential contract extensions, and the financial implications for the Eagles. The nuanced perspective on the team's approach to these key players adds depth to the overall discourse.